bro, 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 breaking news. <laughs> I figured I'd try something different, Alex. Yeah, just something new. technically not a regular schedule. No, episode. it's not. People, I'm sure, are like, oh, whoa, there's an Easy Achievers going live on, what's it? The Today's, Wednesday? Yeah, the Wednesday. Oh, what's going on? Well, ladies and gentlemen, E3 2020 has been canceled, and we wanted to talk about it as soon as we heard it. Now... I could sit here and read an article to you about how it's canceled. They all say the same thing. It's canceled. It's canceled due really to the it. coronavirus issues. Yeah, that's, that's More everything. coronavirus. That's everything. Literally everything we know. I've yeah. read all of them. Nothing. Um, <clears throat> the thing I wanted to talk about today, Alex, is mm-hmm. why, of course, is corona. So mm-hmm. let's say how this will affect you. The beer? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I had a funny <clears throat> joke with a coworker of mine. I said, I got a bad case of corona. Uh, uh, you see what I did there? Yeah, yeah, I got I'm you. joking about deaths. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> let's um mm. uh so specifically E3 2020, we're not mm. getting one. And yeah. Everyone online and their mother wants to go on about how it's dead now and we can't get another another year. What do you think is mm. going to happen with E3 2021? <clears throat> I feel like since this one's canceled, it's going to be really hard to get everybody to come back next year so they're gonna be like well i mean we didn't have a lot of people anyways so is there a point to come back unless they bring out something if they they announce something strong to be like hey we didn't have an e3 last year but this three this e3 we're going big everyone's gonna be there all this is gonna be there so come Mm -hmm. like Mm -hmm. they have to do something like that because if not then i don't think we're gonna get i respect them for them saying canceled because gdc (sighs) did technically postpone but i don't know i I thought i thought they did say that it it got postponed like delayed but then it just got winded up canceled it it very much would could be okay i I haven't seen anything else but it very much could have just been straight up canceled now Mm -hmm. but uh good for them Mm -hmm. for just saying hey it's it's not happening yeah i mean um i mean safety of others i mean i guess of course of course Uh, the last thing we want during an epidemic is a mass of people gathering in one spot touching and licking each other because you know that's what happens this is how um the stuff in uh what is it division (laughs) sure yeah yeah the things in division start out the flu yeah we don't want that happening no someone cough on a dollar give it to someone it's over um but yeah i uh, agree with everything you just said uh what uh and just updates real quick uh, xbox and ubisoft have already said they're doing digital events mm-hmm. this year so they will be right there still at e3 um mm-hmm. i'm very curious if they'll prefer to do this next year i don't know because digital events far more cheaper than yeah. doing a giant stadium and filling it with product and people and paying everyone yeah so i can't imagine the at least the big companies coming back maybe e3 does something to entice uh, uh, smaller devs and and consumers because mm-hmm. at this point I assume you just go con- full consumer <laughs> and you stop doing like being less of a tech show for people more of like a consumer based you pay you come you have fun yeah you spend money on shirts all this garbage um I looked it up a GDC did ev- did get canceled right, so, yeah, yeah. It's officially they got, canceled. yeah they got it got pulled out I think just two weeks before the the thing was supposed to be for people who don't know gdc is the game and developer conference it's basically mm-hmm. e3 for game devs they just go there it's similar to e3 and like <clears> the <throat> kind of hypey stuff but yeah. more centralized around devs and having yeah fun. very interested it's crazy it's a crazy year crazy year everything's getting canceled we're all terrified of the coronavirus which <sighs> you should be wash your hands yeah animals. and it's it's upsetting because i mean you're like are we still going to get the systems this year? Yeah, we will. Um, they just have to do later on so, events. If not, they'll have to stream events. <clears throat> so Xbox is going to stream their reveal. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. I'm assuming they are going to do the same day mm-hmm. that they would originally. I don't know. Because um, I'm pretty sure they usually go Monday. If I remember. Or no, is it <clears throat> Saturday they usually go Xbox? So I don't remember. since E3 is canceled. Right. Since Microsoft is tech wasn't technically at e3 it was like next to do you think we'll still get their conference no i think we're just getting that digital event we're okay gonna get that event they're gonna be the on one you talking about the one that's next be... week we're getting a we're getting on a, a, a we're get we're supposed to be getting a, a, a live stream of something some from more news of the series x next week really yeah on the 17th and 18th or 18th Ooh, give me some news on that ladies Here. show me you got something hot because i didn't even know about this i thought i sent it to you you did yeah no uh here you're um it. you're full of it was it on insta is that what it was yeah 
I'm terrible on Instagram, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it says so that uh, as a part of Game Stack Live, there will be two mixer it. live streams on March 17 and 18, starting at 10 a.m. Pacific time to share content mm-hmm. originally meant for GDC. Um, the live stream on March 17 includes topics on uh, how the coalition built Gears 5 to be more accessible and more stuff about independent games with ID at Xbox team. And on the Arch- March 18th live stream, that should pay. Uh, that should prove more interesting. One of the panels that will talk about Series X and Project X Cloud equal a new chapter in gaming. So the 18th, hmm. they're going to... So get, the 18th looks like yeah, exciting. Yeah, they're going to uh, entitle more details of X Cloud, Series X, and DirectX ray tracing. Seventeen, The 17th where the Coalition built Gears 5 to be more accessible. Sounds straight up just like a... This was supposed to be a panel at GDC, so mm-hmm. we're just doing it live now. Yeah, so yeah, so, so I, that, that's that pretty much like what it is. So fun. the 18th is really the big 18th one. 18th is for the general yep, audience. So literally stuff. next week. Exciting. Yeah, uh, I'm curious on what they'll talk about with Project X Cloud. I wonder if it's going to be the thing with because um, they did promise Game Pass games and they promised mm-hmm. your library. Or so I'm wondering if that's an update to that, or maybe maybe we're getting more stuff in beta. Hopefully, thing just things like price. That. For X Cloud, or is X uh, the Series X? The Series X? Oh, yeah. for the Series X, I want. I think they wait since for we're not at E three anymore. Maybe they're going to be like, we're just going to go ahead and do it next I, week. Uh, that uh, hmm, that'd be ballsy, but I think ballsy, they'll wait for E yeah. three because it just makes well, PlayStation sweat as long. as I mean, they it's wait. not like there's gonna there's a E three anymore now. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. So there's not like there's going to be something in June unless they make. Well, their they have own an thing. Uh, they have an event. They got the event there. They're going to have like a digital mm-hmm. event just for them. Yeah, yeah. So they'll they'll do that digital event for their system and talking about next gen and mm-hmm. then we'll go into the release in October or November strong with knowing the price and all yeah. the things and the features and the UI and all that stuff. Alex We're not getting E three, we've talked about this. Yeah. We're not getting E three. No. Sad, how but, do uh, how do developers respond, right? Mm-hmm. Easy digital events. We already talked about no, that yeah, as for well, sure. Right? Easy digital events. Ubisoft already said at Xbox. I'm assuming Devolver Digital and all these people will just keep doing their direct sort of things. Mm-hmm. What would you do for next year's E3 to get everyone back? Like I said at the beginning, um, they, I would have to have make sure that everybody is in on coming back. Mm-hmm. So Xbox, you're getting whole stadium, a uh, mm-hmm. whole. Uh, Stay, uh, yeah, what, like, what is it? Uh, like what's the day word? Or... Well, show I mean, floor. Show floor. Thank you. Gotcha. Like, like you know, like on. Uh, I was about to say stadium, but I meant like a. Uh, yeah, like a giant show floor. Yeah, where yeah. they can show off their yeah, stuff. Yeah, so like uh, Xbox, you're getting your own. PlayStation, you're getting your own. Mm-hmm. Nintendo, you get your own. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's gonna be like a big E3 because they they were able to. S- I mean, I assume they're gonna save a lot of more money. Because since we're not going to be able to, they're not going to be able to do anything this year. That's a good question. It depends on how their insurance. So they'll be able works. to budget more for the next one. That, it depends on a lot of things. How their finances. I wish yeah. I knew because, for instance, if they already rented out the stadium, then they are loss of that money. You think so? But you don't think, think they'll get a refund for that? But if it's insured, okay. yes, they yeah, will get their money back. That depends on a whole lot of factors. That also depends on how much money they've already spent. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming. Since it's this early, yeah, they've cut most, if not all, costs. No, yeah, so they've probably would saved have most of the money. Um, I mean, so that's they three months ahead should be fine. Because if if they were, it, for instance, if they were to go bankrupt from mm. from canceling a event yearly, yeah, I assume we would have gotten this super late and then oh, for panicking sure. and saying we're yeah. not going to have money, so we're bankrupt now. Yeah, but, um, no, but they should be fine. Yeah, no, I feel like they should have. If they once, uh, hopefully they have the budget and everything. They'll have everybody come back and everybody do an all out E three, pretty much like you know, game uh, <laughs> like it, I just E four. Eh. That's what just popped in my head. It's like you e, thought like, three was a lot. Hey, you thought E four. <laughs> Well, um, they'll be like, oh, you missed G4. We got E4. <laughs> we got the next best thing, E4. <laughs> um, but no, yeah. You want to see Adam Sessler? Here he is. <laughs> but no, I feel like they would have to bring, you know, Jeff Keighley back. They would have to bring, like I said, all the developers. They would have to all get together be like, hey, we all got together. And we want to re- make this have fun for everyone. I'm going to be real for you for a second. I don't know if everyone in the audience knows. I know Jeff Keighley. He does the Game Awards. And I did not know he basically ran the majority of e3 oh yeah he runs yeah. uh he's the one that's usually always talking he's, as, yeah. uh, as the hosting uh, and develop he, like game it? awards he's, games coliseum for mm-hmm. 
E3. Yeah. Which I forget what that is. I think that's just the huge showcase. Mm-hmm. And then he does, uh, uh, what is it called? Oh, what? Uh, he, he does a week before E3 goes out and demos all of the demos to influencers and media. Isn't and that stuff. Judges Week? Judges Week. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. They, they do Judges Week, which is a huge thing that oh, yeah, for wasn't sure. going to happen when Jeff Keighley was going and now it's for sure not happening. Yeah, no, ju- and I'm yeah, very yeah, curious, Judges is not happening. I'm very curious what was happening behind the scenes because Jeff left what? We talked about that last week, I think, right? And then I am 8-Bit, which is like a planning service site type thing, mm-hmm. uh, also left a few days ago. So yep. I'm curious if they either got r- murmurings of the cancellation because when they said they, they were they, leaving... They must have. Well, when they said they were leaving, they hinted at ideas they didn't agree with in the show, and that's why they left. So I'm, I'm, I, wonder, I wonder what that was. Because yeah. if we get the same... If we get the same kind of gusto going into next year, yeah. If we can't get Keeley, if we can't get plan, you know, good planning back with mm-hmm. IMA bid and things like that, mm-hmm. then do we get do we get a good E three or do we just get a kind of half mess if, where you're paying a fa- like the tickets? If next for- year they're not able to get people back or get the idea that they want to return to E three, I don't think there'll be one. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think there'll be one until they can get a good until idea. They figure it out. Yeah. I have a question. Why do you think, and I'm on the Twitters, right? I know you're not as active mm-hmm. as I am. And ladies and gentlemen at, at listening at home might not be as either. But why do you think so many people are upset with E3 now? Is it just so many bridges burned over the years? Um, with upset. The, you for mean, instance, with the doxing? Because there's so many people online. Saying, upset. Uh, like, th- like, like lately or because it was canceled? Like, what do you mean? Lately. So lately, just instance, in general seeing, with E3? So I'm seeing people want this thing canceled. Well, sorry. not That's not completely accurate. I'm saying people um, are always very quick to give their take on if E3 will ever exist again. Oh, I gotcha. So they're always, they're very negative. Yeah. Now, negative and reality mm-hmm. are sometimes the same thing, and this could all be true. But it does seem like E3 specifically over everyone else gets a lot of shit. I think it's because it's it's E3. It's uh, already has the, 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 it's, oh, how can I say this? It's the biggest, it's already the biggest show of the mm-hmm. year. So it's everybody's, everybody's expecting it mm-hmm. to go big. Mm-hmm. So like when, when they start announcing stuff that like for like early this year was supposed to be the PlayStation is not going to be there. I'd be like, well, why not? Because I mean, it's the big show. You're supposed mm-hmm. to be there. Mm-hmm. Then I mean I think that's why people, people get give upset. it yeah get upset Notice because I mean it's like imagine the Super Bowl for example mm-hmm. for all the football fans out there mm-hmm. and kick footballs yeah it's for like <laughs> it's, and and then there's not gonna be no ha- no halftime show mm-hmm. that's a, that's upset so yeah and yeah, people are gonna be upset point. it's a good point yeah there's so no halftime. I came for this halftime show yeah a lot of people just go point. for halftime show I mean mm-hmm. but so like if there's no halftime show. It's ruining Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Imagine if next year they won't have another one, mm-hmm. and then the team. <laughs> that mean, and then it. they're like, "Do we have Super Bowls anymore?" I mean, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that makes a good. That's a good analogy. Um, with so all this going down, mm-hmm. I do hope it stays. I think I'm I one of so. the no, few people. No, left. I hope so too, for sure, because it's exciting. I mean, yeah. you're, you're you're it's you're it's a weekend that you up that you you're like, oh god, it's E3 week. Let me get ready, mm-hmm. and you sit oh. down for a whole like two three days and just watch you conferences just watch, and it's yeah, so fun. fun you eat popcorn mm-hmm. just garbage and putting garbage mm-hmm. of food it's awesome like it's crazy because my wife she likes games but mm-hmm. she's not a big gamer like we mm-hmm. are and stuff but like of she's course, getting yeah. there and she'll even sit down and watch e3 with us and it's i wouldn't extra expected her to but no, she she enjoys either. it too <laughs> me either um but i do I do hope it stays. I hope it doesn't go. It seems like it's very popular. And it, it, I think people are, are ignoring one major factor with E3. Mm-hmm. Joe Schmo, who buys Madden every year, mm-hmm. knows E3 is a thing. Oh, yeah. Guy who buys Call of Duty yeah. knows what E3 is. Yeah. You can at least incentivize that person to buy something else mm-hmm. that year other than the Call of Duty. Without that, they're not yeah. watching GDC. No, no, they're yeah. not watching PAX. Everybody not knows what E3 else. is. Yeah, at, at E3, nothing has even cl- close in gaming period, mm. event wise, that's as exciting for everyone outside of the industry mm. than E3 is. And it is upsetting that everyone's excited mm. that it's going away because we're gonna miss 
that huge dearth of news. Like we take over for like three oh, days. Oh yeah. Oh no, yeah, for sure. Like even yeah, Yahoo's posting. No, yeah, for sure. I mean, it's there. crazy because even like for example, like people you just said that literally don't play games, just Madden or mm-hmm. MLB. Like I, I walked into a GameStop a couple of years ago, and mm-hmm. they were sh- they were streaming E three on their little uh, interactive systems. Yeah. And um, I, I walked by and I was like, oh crap, why E three? So I'm just watching. There's a guy next to me. He's like, hey, uh, he's like, oh yeah, you watching this? He's like, yeah, man, I don't play any games really, but this is cool. Mm-hmm. Like I'm just like, why? Yeah. I like watching these game things. I was like, oh wow, you're just here to watch E three at a GameStop. That's and awesome. Ho- and hopefully we get something to replace that. But yeah. it's just nothing comes even no, close. Yeah. It used to be on T V too, I remember that. Oh yeah, for um, sure. They used to be, be live TV, streams. It used yeah. to be on G four, I remember. Yeah. I remember that was so, that was so cool watching that. They every need day. to go back to how that was. I, I disagree okay. with that. I don't what? like it on I, I I Well no no no. I'm talking about like not not back to like G four or things oh, like that. I see. I'm talking about like how big it was. Oh I see, I see. Like they need to just go uh, like, cause I, I I do get, I do think the last couple of years it hasn't been as strong as it mm-hmm. used to be, so I feel like they need to get together and be like, hey, how did we have this to where it just it had everybody mm, excited exciting. for everything? Go back to those plans and be like, we'll do this. Mm-hmm. I'm curious if that's just a change in the industry because back then there were just weren't that many events. Oh, no, and there yeah. weren't that many news, but now you can tweet something and everyone knows. Yeah. So you don't really have to have these things. That's why magazines were a big thing too. Yeah. Right? You had, if you were on a magazine, that was a big deal. Mm-hmm. Those Game Informers, man. Game Informer, official Xbox magazine. I bought that thing all the time. Oh, oh my God. Time. I love that thing. Yeah. That's one. Of, that's another thing that, that like, if you if you're on a magazine, that's a big deal now. Yeah. Who's buying a magazine for yep. real? Like maybe you go on an iPad or something and and do it, but like it's not a thing. Oh, yep. there it is. This an vintage origi- original Xbox magazine. What is this? Perfect Dark Zero. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's a, it's that's November awesome. two thousand and five. Ooh, I don't know why I have this, but I just had it. <laughs> I don't know why I have. I don't this. know. It is the only one I. See. I was mailed some. Oh no, I have a, some more. I'm pretty. Sure it was an official Xbox. Uh, yeah, uh, the one with the demo discs. Oh yeah, these right here, the yeah. Xbox 360 ones. Halo yeah. 3 oh, and Fable look at 2. That. Look at this, the Fable 2 looking, like, looking gorgeous on that magazine. 2008. Oh, yes. Like I don't know why, but I kept these just because I love these. Mm-hmm. I loved getting those demo. As a kid who can't buy things, mm-hmm. demo discs were life saving. You 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 boot it up and play this God for Second demo for the fifth time because you don't have a different game to play. Yep. It was so fun. Oh, I miss I. I miss it, but don't at all. Cause no, like, same, why, same. why would I miss that? But um, yeah, yeah. I, uh, maybe we're just in a different age where E three just can't really be a thing anymore. Yeah. Hopefully, something replaces it to equal or greater value. For instance, like, um, for instance, like the the people we follow, kind of funny. Mm-hmm. They're gonna do a game showcase now because yeah. Oh yeah. One yeah, of the yeah. people tweeted out that they were kind of figuring out the doc for it. Yeah. So they're probably gonna do something at E three now and. That's fine because it's it's a digital event. Yeah, there's not a thousand people that have to go and watch it. So yep, maybe maybe we don't get one big event. We get a bunch of smaller events now. Mm-hmm. But it is sad to say <clears throat> and see it go before my very eyes, like sand falling between my fingers. Like it's just yeah, it's just it's, it's just slowly, slowly going away, and it just it just it it, it it it's starting to hurt a little. It does, it does. Uh, well, Alex, mm. any off the top of your head, I'm putting you on the spot. Okay, any great e3 memories off the top yet oh ooh, goodness okay e- easy one for me is the cyberpunk one from last year with keanu really? reeves coming okay. out it was awesome yeah this is a funny thing that you didn't expect you didn't think keanu reeves would just come um, out like, what's up guys the god of war one really hit me with the orchestra yeah being just yeah gorgeous the entire time yeah because i was like demo. you just hear the music and i'm like this sounds I, very like gaudy like like you know gods yeah, and stuff God, like that so I'm, like, so I'm like god of war mm-hmm. so i'm like you, you just see you just see the kid playing i'm like what the hell there's a kid and he's and all you hear is atreus to me and we can what stuff for we complain uh, about this i'm gonna complain about it again mm. a person walked out with a controller and that, played the demo that's what i that's <laughs> what i miss you just miss all right they're gonna play it right here and you're like whoa wait a minute there's oh, gameplay he's playing it. this could mess up i'm excited yeah like you know because oh you remember the final fantasy 15 demo 
<laughs> that the guys try to play, he could not play that demo. Oh, I think it was just this. not working. Just he kept wasn't dying going down. and stuff. It just wasn't going down. Well. No, yeah, that was hilarious. What was it? Was it Uncharted? 4? Yeah, it was Uncharted Four. Mm-hmm. You remember when they were showing off Uncharted Four? Yes. And uh, there was there was a uh, the PlayStation DualShock wasn't working correctly, so yes. when it started, he just stood there and nothing happened. Yep. They had to like restart the demo and do it. Yep. Again. Uh, that's just cool stuff that happens. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because it, it makes it. I mean, yeah, you you screwed up. You feel kind of embarrassed though. but it's it's real it i mean it's kind of cool I mean, producers are crying i'm sure when they see stuff like that happen. Yeah. like oh my god it, it restarted if, for the god if, if, if it was me uh, like on that stage i'd be like all right guys relax you know you know this happens to you at home too okay <laughs> give us a second hey i gotta get a new controller relax yeah. it's not charged i forgot to do it last night we all have done we've all been there we've right? all been there all been, and that's exciting that's we've awesome it's cool it, it, you get a glimpse behind the oh yeah the the curtain Mm-hmm. As Wizard of Oz would teach me. Um, anything else I have? I uh, I did get very excited when we saw Halo Four. I, I have a very Halo Four okay. distinct memory on that, yeah. where he's where you fight the I don't remember his name now, but the weird god dude. With oh, the, it's a, it's a, it's a, I think it's a Prothe, Promethean Promethean Prometheans are the race, but like whatever that main dude because oh, you see the, him in the beginning the, of the game, the main they, dude, yeah, 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 and they sh- and they show him like or no, you you watch the opening like game yeah you open up the game because then you start fighting the things and you're running around the that, was that cool. weird area that was, yeah. i remember that very distinctively i remember mm-hmm. seeing dragon age inquisition for the first time there oh mm-hmm. that was cool um did you see that because you said xbox having a digital uh thing yeah. or ubisoft as well as doing that yep yeah ub is having an event as well i'm yep. curious on how that goes too because that does make it more polished, right? There aren't going to be as many lulls in the event now yeah. because they're doing these things. I wonder if we can stream that like, this year. Man, we don't know. We can try. We can try. I don't, yeah. I don't think we have anything strong enough, but we can try that. Uh, uh, I think I... Uh, I mean, if the best thing we can do... I don't know if it... I, I, if, keep the recording but i can stream it on the xbox with with, with mixer <laughs> there you go. we'll watch it and then we'll just have the thing at the, there you go that's the only thing i could think of um uh, alex that's about it for e3 2020 yeah and talking about e3 2021 what do you guys think leave in the comments below if you like this give us the like give us the subscription give us all of the reviews we appreciate you we go live with our regular scheduled programming every friday on youtube and uh, all of your podcast services if you like us even more than that you can of course head over to patreon.com slash easy achievers you can give us the buck for your exclusive you can give us five bucks to get everything early thank you guys so much for tuning in on this breaking news thank you so much <laughs> you have a good one go achieve go achieve